it's Catherine from CatherinePuller.com. Today I'm going to show you how to mass produce this Christmas card. I did a whole series on mass producing Christmas cards last year and it's been really popular and I'm noticing it's getting a ton of views right now so I decided to show you another design. And I'm going to go all trendy and use a bunch of trends that are happening in the paper crafting world right now. I am scoring in half and then cutting in half two sheets of Bermuda Bay cardstock. This will be our base. We're going to do four. And I am loving the trends right now. I've gotten, you know, knee, not knee deep, neck deep in, in the paper crafting trends because I just released that uh, very trendy holiday online class. Be sure you become an attendee of that. Lots of great stuff in there. So now I have my four card bases and then I need to take my Whisper White and make this layer on top. And if I wasn't concerned about time, I may put another layer between the white and the Bermuda Bay. I would probably do red. So I'm going to cut this one quarter inch smaller than half. So four on both pieces. And then I'll take these and cut them at five and a quarter. Your paper cutter will go through two pieces at once. And so now I have the base for two, not two, four, four cards. I have the gorgeous grunge stamp set and I wanted to use this stamp right here to make a chevron. And I had to play with it for a while to figure out how to do it. Can you guess how I did it? I'm gonna show you. I have my real red ink and I'm just gonna ink that stamp up and stamp it on the bottom of each piece. and I'll set these aside. Now I have a piece of vellum cardstock, which is another hot, trendy item in the paper crafting world right now. Now, ink takes quite a while to dry on vellum, so I could wait for a while, I could heat set it, or I can just throw some clear embossing powder on top of it and emboss it, and I don't have to wait, wait on drying time. Hold on one sec, it's freezing in my house right now, so let me warm up my hands. <laughs> so you can tell that they're embossed when it doesn't look powder anymore. It's gonna turn to a shiny look and it also gets a little bit darker. The next step here is just to cut out these little chev or they're not chevrons yet, but these stripey fun images. And the key to mass producing cards is to do each step one at a time and finish it for all cards before you move on to the next step. So I'll cut all of these out. Okay, so now how do I make these a chevron? That doesn't work. That doesn't work. So this blew my mind for a couple minutes until I realized, you may already realize this, if you turn it upside down, there, voila, we have a chevron. And to, like I said, it took me a couple minutes to figure that out, but once I did, I was pretty pumped. So now I'll just add these to each card and I'll go ahead and just add my adhesive on all three at once because like I say, each step one at a time. And usually with vellum, you don't want to put so much adhesive underneath it because you can see through it. But because of the stamping and embossing, it's not really an issue on this card. So isn't this a fun way to use this stamp set? I love it. All right, now I'm going to add each of these to its card base. The next piece we're gonna work on is the tree and I'm using a stamp set from Penny Black. It has all these fun little trees in it. They're all super trendy. And again, hate to harp on uh, the word trendy here, but we're using this trendy color combination, the blue and the green and the gray and the red. So we'll just stamp our trees. I'm gonna cut them out with these circle framelits. So I wanna make sure they're spaced correctly on here and I'm not gonna run one into the other. It 
And inking your stamp with the two different colors like that when it's a clear stamp is fabulous. It's really easy to see and make sure you're lined up. So now I'm just gonna grab my Big Shot. I have a circle framelit and I'm just gonna punch these out. is the little snowflake. This is out of a metal sheet. I get my metal sheets from Monica at Add a Little Dazzle and if you hop over to my blog I'll have a link there for you so you can go check out her store. She does amazing artwork. I've been dabbling in it just a little myself and I've been adding little metal touches to my projects here and there just a little bit and I love the little added oomph it gives. It's really fun to work with. This, the metal sheets are really pretty thin, but not like tin foil. They do have substance to them. They're just fun. If you like glitter and girly things and special touches to your cards, you wanna check them out. So I just used this snowflake that I got from Simon Says Stamps and punched out all my little snowflakes. And then this is a little bit detailed, so I'm gonna kinda work them out here. We'll just pull each of these out and then they'll be ready to pop onto the project. And one tip, in the center, there are little punch outs that you can, well, punch out. <laughs> but I find, I like to add these with dimensionals and then if I punch out those middle pieces, then the dimensional shows through. So I'm gonna keep them on there just like that. I'm not gonna punch out those little, little pieces in the middle. Now that I have all my pieces laid out and ready, now we just have to assemble. I'm gonna do one piece at a time and first goes on the greeting. I'm using a clear stamp by PTI and I was using a different one but uh, it's not clear so I didn't trust myself to stamp it perfectly so we're gonna move over to a clear stamp and I'm stamping that so it goes over the chevron just a little bit. to do so that layer is gonna go right on top of that boo-boo <laughs> you'll never know it was there so last final touch on these four cards and there we go in a jiffy we have four fabulous super trendy and fun cards that were pretty easy to mass produce. Hope you guys enjoyed these video tutorials. I have lots more mass producible cards on my YouTube channel. And then if you've never checked out my Kiss Card series, that's another really simple cards to make. Be sure to go to katherinepuller.com, subscribe to my exclusive video series, the top 10 things every stamper needs to know, and you'll get on my newsletter list so you'll get weekly projects and you'll be uh, up to date on all the happenings around here. Thanks for watching. Happy stamping. Have a super day. Bye.